With the novel coronavirus still wrecking havoc, this flu season is more important than ever. If you find yourself getting sick, it is best and safest to stay at home. If you use medicine to feel better, make sure to use precautions when taking over-the-counter medications. The typical cold medications are antihistamines, decongestants, or a combination of both. Unfortunately, the side effects of these drugs can be dangerous depending on the use and dosage. Many non-prescription drugs can cause drowsiness, inattentiveness, or impair one's ability to concentrate or make decisions, drive a car, operate machinery, and can slow down your reflexes to some degree. The most common side effect of over-the-counter cold and flu medicine is drowsiness, which lowers one's alertness and reaction time. 10 to 25 percent of people taking these medications report daytime drowsiness. This can be more than just an annoyance. Approximately 200,000 vehicle accidents are attributed to sleepiness every year. Fatigue is a factor in nearly one-third of truck accidents where the driver is killed. Taking medications, then coming to work, and using machinery or sharp tools is to be considered dangerous. So, when you are ill, what should you do? If you have symptoms of the novel coronavirus, you should not go to work. If you don't and cannot stay home from work, let your supervisor know. It may be possible to change your work assignments or temporarily arrange for less hazardous work. Also, should you be injured, your supervisor and emergency responders will need to know what medications you are taking if you are unable to recall or respond. Don't try new remedies during work hours. Everyone reacts differently to cold and flu medication, so find one that works best and gives you the least troublesome side effects and stick with it. Wash your hands often. The best cold and flu solution is prevention. If your cold lasts more than a couple of days, seek medical attention. When using over-the-counter medications, keep these rules in mind. Follow recommended dosages. Don't use combination medicines. Try to avoid multi-ingredient products. Don't mix over-the-counter medications or use along with prescription drugs. Individuals who are already on prescription medication should check with their doctor or pharmacist before mixing prescription and over-the-counter medications. Read the label. Many over-the-counter medications have warnings Ignoring these warnings can make the side effects of over-the-counter drugs even more pronounced and potentially dangerous. Single-use, single-dose packets in job site first aid kits should have warning labels on them for the user to read prior to use. Don't ignore these warnings. Another worry that comes along with medications is substance abuse. Some of the signals that may indicate abuse that will affect safety at the workplace include attendance problems, this includes chronic absenteeism, tardiness, and excessive use of sick leave, unsatisfactory performance or productivity shown, poor quality work, increased errors, and waste are all examples. Emotional and physical symptoms may include withdrawal, depression, confusion, loss of concentration, hand tremors, or an unsteady walking stride. Evidence of illegal substance use include paraphernalia, such as needles, foil, wrappers, pipes, and possession of illegal drugs. Accidents, near misses, or equipment breakdowns may result in violating established operating procedures and fighting involving physical contact, assaults, and erratic or violent behavior. Drugs and the workplace just don't mix. Accidents and injuries take a toll on all of us, so a drug-free workplace is a safer workplace. With the holidays coming up, it is also a good time to mention that alcohol is a drug too. Even though it is not illegal in society, it has no place on the job. Lack of coordination and poor judgment will make you accident prone. We want to keep you alive and well. Each of us wants to work in a safe environment. Make sure to do your part. Say no to both alcohol and drugs. Your life may depend on it. If you must operate a vehicle or machinery while on medication, you can drive defensively by always staying alert, watch for turning vehicles, lane changes, and oncoming traffic. Observe and obey posted signs along the roadway. Maintain a safe distance between yourself and the car ahead of you. Don't use your cell phone. It will distract you from driving defensively. Follow the rules of the road and be a safe, courteous driver. Don't tailgate. Rear end collisions are the most frequent type of highway accident. If it's raining, turn on your headlights when you turn on your wipers. Prior to leaving on a trip, make sure you have adequate fuel, clean the windshield, inside and outside, 
and check your tire pressure. Be sure you have a jack, tire iron, and spare tire. It never hurts to have a small first aid kit and a flashlight in your vehicle as well. And remember, driving too fast for conditions greatly increases the likelihood of collisions. Concentrate on safety whenever you get behind the wheel. Remember, the life you save may be your own. We hope you have enjoyed learning more about cold and flu drug safety and will take precautions if on medications while on the job site. We thank you for taking the time to watch this video and hope you will join us again for future Video Toolbox Talks. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you very much. safe day.